We come now to a very special award given not by the judges, but by the committee of Wild Screen 82 to a broadcaster who in this country is synonymous with natural history television programs. But of course, like all wildlife filmmakers, he's off making films most of the time, which is exactly what happened in this case. Except that the producer, with some foresight, packed a panda in his suitcase and went in search of David Attenborough. He was with a film crew making a program in Indonesia. Let's have a look at the film clip. Okay, fine. Now, just before we go any further, uh, David, many thousands of miles away from here, in Bristol, uh, a lot of people are sitting, hoping that you would be amongst them to celebrate <laughs> Wild Screen 82. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we find ourselves working on the island of Komodo, but the <laughs> organizing committee have asked me if I will present to you a replica of the uh, golden panda <laughs> to celebrate Wild Screen 82, and uh, they asked me to give this to you in commemoration of all your contribution to wildlife filmmaking and to con con conservation over 30 years. Ned, um, thank, you, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, and I suppose thank everybody uh, back in Bristol very much. Um, <laughs> what can I say? Well, I suppose I can, I can say uh, three things. First, uh, I can say that I'm very sorry not to be at the festival, and it was only splendid creatures like these Komodo dragons that would keep me away. Second, I suppose I'd like to say what I think all of us here and all of us involved in wildlife filmmaking would like to say, which is that if our films have led to people elsewhere in the world appreciating these animals that are so beautiful and so important and to help in conserving them, then we will all be very delighted. And the third thing is just thank you very, very much indeed. I said a moment ago that David Attenborough was in Indonesia. Well, he was. But since then, he's been in Australia, New Zealand, the Gilbert Islands, Hawaii. He flew into Heathrow from Honolulu this afternoon, went home for a bath, drove down to Bristol, and here he is. David, welcome back. Thank you very much for the film, and we're not going to ask you to make another speech. All we'd like to say is thank you very, very much indeed for all the pleasure you've given all of us with your wonderful programs. But you're not let off the hook. We might just embarrass you a little bit because we're going to look back at some of your programs, three in fact, starting in black and white many years ago on the island of Komodo, where you were a month ago, even in those days, looking for dragons. some people will do for their art. <laughs> 